Welcome to Self Entertained. My name is Travis. Today we're going to do a video uh, as short as possible, but still giving you everything you need to know about how to melt uh, household plastics, make molds for them, and, uh, and, and remold the plastic into new stuff. So first I'm going to show you how to make the mold. I printed a slingshot off of the computer. I had to print it a few times to get it to the right size that I wanted. Uh, I cut it out and now I'm going, I've got some cardboard. I'm going to cut that shape out a few times uh, on the cardboard until I can stack them up and get, you know, about five eighths of an inch thick. So I'm just gonna go ahead, trace these out, cut them out, see you in a second. <clears throat> okay, so I cut out the shape four times and it's gonna be about that thick right so now I'm gonna glue these together uh, and then and then take some tape and go around the outside with the tape okay I've wrapped it in Gorilla Tape and I have my shape that I want and it's looking pretty good so far so now I'm going to make the mold and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so I've made this little frame just out of plywood and screwed my mold into that. And what I'm going to do is mix the cement and just pour it in there, squish it in, let it dry and then pull this out. I might have to cut it out, but that, you know, the void is what I will be using for my mold. And you can get creative, like, you know, this is just an idea. You can, you know, use your imagination. There's, you know, the world is your oyster for, uh, for this kind of stuff. You can make anything you want. <clears throat> so I just mixed up some dry concrete mix. And I'm just going to start placing it in here. Okay, so there's my mold. I'm gonna go take this apart and punch this out of the center. So, there it is. Cool. So I'm gonna go clean this up with, uh, with something. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smoother in there. And uh, then we'll be uh, pretty much ready to pour some plastic. So I have here a little pan that will go in the convection oven. My little concrete mold and some parchment paper. And I just set that right down on the parchment paper. So I have here a yogurt container, which is has got the recycle symbol with a number five on it. I don't know if you can see that and a PP underneath it, that means polypropylene. Uh, this container and the lid are both polypropylene. So I'm gonna sand off the um, labels because I don't want to melt that down with the plastic. And this one has a number two on it and it says HDPE. I don't know if you can see that either. Um, that means high density uh, polyethylene uh, and these both these types of plastics can be melted down the same way I just don't think you're supposed to mix them together and I'm not going to so for this project we're going to use this plastic because I want it to I want it to be a meld of white and green okay so I've sanded off parts I'm going to use Start cutting that out. I'm just going to take a little bit of this vegetable oil 
and just spread it around the inside just a little bit in there uh, just as a preventative measure so the plastic doesn't stick to the concrete. Okay, so that's ready to go. I've got some more here and here that I'm going to probably throw in there in a few minutes once this melts down a little bit. I got this convection oven for $15 from the thrift store and that's all you need. And both the uh, high density uh, polyethylene and the polypropylene both melt between 300 and 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go right in the middle. In there. And turn it on. And now we wait. Just added a bit more. So I've added quite a bit more plastic. That was uh, the, the original fill up was maybe a third of the plastic that I used overall. Uh, maybe, maybe a quarter of the plastic that I used overall. Uh, that's the last bit that I'm going to add in. And I'm just going to let that melt down and settle and uh, let it cool down in the oven. And then we'll pop it out of the mold. So if you look at this slingshot, which you can find on my website, uh, selfentertain.com. It's got these little threaded knobs and the, these little clamps. And, and you don't have to do what I'm about to do. I'm going to mimic this. I'm actually going to, not in this video, but I am going to make a similar clamp. And I'm going to use these. And I'm just going to set that end in the, in the plastic uh, while it's, while it's uh, molten. And then this will be what you know, tightens the clamp. Now I'm just letting it cool. As you can see, I got my screw heads or the bottoms of those bolts sticking out. There's the back and there's the front. So I'll punch it out, you know, through the back and uh, I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit more. It's still decently warm. Uh, and then I'll obviously have to cut that off. And th there are, there's obviously gonna be some sanding to be done and whatever else, but. Not bad at all. I'm noticing a little bit of crack, if you can see it there. I was hoping to be able to reuse this mold, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's probably going to break when I go to knock this out. Yeah, the concrete just crumbled away, but that's all right. Probably better. Uh, so now I'm just sort of chipping those bits away. And then I'll give it a sand. And there it is. I didn't go too crazy on the sanding, uh, and now looking at it, I may have put these a little bit too low, but that's all right. And I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll show that in another video. But um, there's the product, and you don't need this. You can always just uh, tie your flat bands on with elastic bands. Uh, but I want to make this a little bit more high tech, so that's why I'm doing that. But I, like I said, I think I might have, I think I might have put those a little bit too low. So I'll know that for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a ton of fun making this video. We have projects coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and check out www.selfentertain.com to find products tested on this channel and to find out more about Kangam Water. Thank you so much.